Hey guys, I thought it would be fun to do this quick questions and answers tag, and I was tagged by Tammy at BCB59. Um, I'm going to be reading from this paper. I wrote everything down, so I'm going to get started with the first question. Okay, number one, what do you order at Starbucks? Um, I have to say that I actually prefer coffee bean and tea leaf. Um, I think they are far, far, far beyond uh, the quality of Starbucks, but unfortunately we don't have one here. So I do go to Starbucks now, and it's been so long since I've had the coffee bean and tea leaf. Um, the Starbucks tastes good to me now. So, let's see, I order tea lattes for the most part. I get either green tea latte with soy, and in real life I don't drink soy, um, but I have an intolerance to milk. So at Starbucks I get the soy, at home I'll drink almond milk. But let's see, I will get green tea latte with soy, chamomile latte with soy, and I love chamomile and peppermint mixed together. Um, I will do a plain peppermint latte with soy. Um, what else? I do, if I get coffee, I love the seasonal, you know, the pumpkin spice latte. Um, they have a cinnamon latte, something like that. I'll get that with soy, and in the summer, I stick with the frappuccinos, and I'll just get um, a mocha, and I always get a tall, which is their small. Okay, what's one thing in your closet that you cannot live without? Um, definitely one thing I'd have to say is yoga pants. I just think that they are so comfortable, and I also think that they're um, equally as cute, so that's nice. Um, they're definitely not just for exercise. And I'm going to go with long jackets, because many times I've reached for a long jacket and just put boots on with it. Um, the days where I didn't have time to get dressed in the morning. So yeah, I was naked underneath and throw on some lipstick and earrings and nobody has to know. Um, so that saved me a lot of times, especially on not being tardy with the kids in the morning. Um, number three, what's the one thing people probably wouldn't know about you? Um, one thing is at night I kind of turn into a different person. Um, a lot of people when they get tired they might get grumpy or you know, bitchy, whiny, something like that. I do not. I get completely slap happy and I have um, laughing attacks. A lot of people might have sneezing attacks. Well, at night when I'm tired, I have laughing attacks. And things that during the day wouldn't be all that funny to me, at night it's a whole different story. And there's times that I've laid in bed and I bug Jeff so much because I could not I could not catch my breath, like I could not stop laughing. I just find it hilarious. And the fact that I can't stop laughing makes me laugh even harder. So, yeah, I do that. Um, also, I eat weird food concoctions. They're not weird to me. I think, I think they're pretty good little combinations. Um, last night I did it. I was watching TV and I got crackers. And I think it was um, jalapeno mustard. I squirted some of that on a plate and I mixed it with a little bit of chocolate sauce and I put um, some dairy-free cream cheese on the crackers and then dipped it into that. I also have been known to make uh, cereal sandwiches. Uh, back in the day my favorite was Captain Crunch and just put it between two slices of bread and I do stuff like oh, this that. This is another one that just popped in my head. When we go out to eat, I eat normal, I mean as far as I don't eat with my palms or anything. I don't shovel it in with my mouth. But for some reason, when the waiter takes my plate away, I have a complete mess, like an infant was sitting where I was sitting. My spot's messier than where my kids sit. And my husband always is just like dumbfounded. Like, how do you make such a mess? And I have no idea. I end up with food down my cleavage in my shirt. Sometimes when I come home, um, I'll be changing my clothes for jammies and I will have some food. It's just ridiculous. I don't understand it, but I am somehow the messiest eater you've ever seen. Um, hmm. Okay, name one thing you want to do before you die. I don't want to talk about dying. That's not fun. I'm going to skip that one. Um, what's the one food you cannot live without? I'd have to say chocolate. What quote or phrase do you live your life by? Um, I don't know. I guess there's probably a few... Uh, do unto others as you would like done to you is a good one. Um, one quote that I don't appreciate too much is less is more. I kind of disagree with that one. I believe, especially where my cosmetics are concerned, less is less and more is more and I like more. So that's definitely one too. 
Um, what do you like and dislike about the YouTube community? Hmm. What I dislike about the YouTube community is I dislike the pettiness. I dislike the cattiness. Um, I dislike the jealousy and the tactics that people do when they feel, you know, they aren't getting what they want or what they deserve. Um, I don't like the hate and I think that unless you are absolutely perfect, which I know you're not, you have absolutely no business talking about anybody else, about what they do, about how they make their videos, um, what they choose to accept and what they choose to say, absolutely none of your business. Um, that pisses me off. And what else? I don't like dishonest two-faced people. Um, if you don't like somebody, simply don't watch. No need to run and talk about them to other people or on a specific site. Unnecessary. Um, yeah, I think it's really pathetic and sad and it's a waste of time. It's a waste of your time mostly. So yeah, also, just like very bad. frustrating to me when I see someone taking the time out of their day to sit in front of a camera and put makeup on for you guys. Um, and for us, for me, we all benefit from it. And you will read down and see just petty, petty comments, um, you know, regarding either lighting or, you know, you look better before you put the makeup on. And that's not even the point. The point is they're showing you how they do something so you can achieve that look. And a simple thank you, thank you for taking the time out of your day to do that would be lovely instead of seeing, you know, petty bitchy comments that really irritates me. It irritates me more under other people's videos because honestly, say what you will about me, it doesn't bother me. But when I watch my other, you know, videos that I like to see, friends or even people that I don't even know, I just find it so disrespectful. Okay, the things um, I do like about YouTube. Um, I love the sharing. I love learning new things. I love the people that get so excited uh, finding new things or new looks, posting videos and just sharing it so that we could do the same or we could have the same. I love that. Um, in real life there's so many times where I would see somebody and see a necklace on them and I'd say, oh my god, I really love that. And they just do not want to give up where they bought it. Um, they just want to be the only ones with it. And so many times, whether it's outfits of the day or accessories, whatever, um, so many people so willing to share where they got their things so that in case you like them, you can have it too. I just love that whole thing. It's really neat uh, meeting new people that you would never, ever have met, you know, whether they're in England or Germany, um, you know, wherever they are. It's amazing to have that connection. I've met so many amazing people that I keep in touch with and just adore. So that part I love. Um, what is your number one most listened to song on iTunes? That is impossible for me to answer. Um, not that I go to iTunes or anything, but I do have an iPod. Um, that's hard. I could just tell you some of the music that I love, that I listen to on a regular basis. Um, I love Muse. I love Led Zeppelin. I love Eminem, Jay-Z. Um, I'm liking Little Wayne these days too. Um, in the beginning, he kind of irritated me, but I like him now. Um, what else? Oh, I love Hole, Nine Inch Nails, uh, Marilyn Manson, The Cramps, Reverend Horton Heat. Um, I love Old Aerosmith. Um, Gosh, Joan Jett, there's too many. Yeah, I love all those. Um, what kind of style would you define yourself as having? I don't know, it's kind of all over the place. Sometimes I feel like it's maybe bohemian chic mixed in with a little gypsy pirate or something. Um, I've been told many times, and I can see it myself, the whole gypsy thing. Um, and I don't do that on purpose, it just kind of happens. Uh, my favorite number, my favorite number is three. I don't know why, it's just a happy number for me. It just makes me happy. And so many of our numbers in our personal lives, my kids and my husband's anniversaries, birthdays, all that stuff, there's always a three in everything. And I just like the way it looks. Um, two hobbies. Um, 
I'd say shopping and crocheting. Two pet peeves. Gosh, only two? There's so many. Um, okay, name two pet peeves. One pet peeve I know for sure is being in line at the grocery store and being the next person in line um, and sitting there waiting to be rung up while the cashier is chatting it up with the person in front of you and the transaction is done, groceries are bagged, and they are just talking about the weather, talking about sports, whatever, and I just find it completely irritating because I usually have somewhere to be, you know, I'm in a hurry and I just want to be rung up so I can leave and that just drives me batty. Um, Another pet peeve are the greeters in stores. Um, whenever you walk into a store, and I know why they do it, they're just being polite. Um, I'm just not one for small talk. If you have something to ask me, I'd love you know, to talk to you about it, but just to, just to say hello, just for sake of saying hello, and you, it's just nothing is behind it, I don't like that. Even at Ulta, doesn't matter where I go, um, I usually notice it a lot more in the, the beauty stores like that, you know, Mac or Sephora, they make a big whoop de doo to say hi, and I know it shouldn't, I know it's silly, but I don't know, I guess it's, they're not doing it for the right reasons, I suppose, and I just don't like it. Um, I'd rather be left alone. Um, guilty pleasures. I have, gosh, I think my guilty pleasures would have to be my TV shows that I choose to watch. I watch some pretty funny things. I love old game shows. Um, I watch Match Game 74 every day. I love it. I love the theme song. I love the clothes. I love everything about it. It just takes me back. I think it's fun. And um, Big Brother. I love that. It's on in the summer. And if any of you guys watch it, you'll have to tell me, you know, what you're loving about the show at the time and who's your favorite because I love Big Brother Talk. Um, so, yeah, I'd have to say those two. And some of those VH1 shows, like I love the 80s, I love the 70s, I love the 90s, whatever. I love those shows. Yeah, I thought that was a fun little tag. And if you guys want to do it, feel free. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everyone.